I'm gonna give you a warning and a warning to everyone. If this game kills Pokemon, there will be a lot of blood. Pokemon, one of the few things that keeps my unstable mind together. Without it, well, it's not gonna be pretty. And that's a warning to all humankind. Calm down, man. The only unstable thing here is a frame rate. Nintendo shut down this Power World Pokemon mod faster than they have anything in existence. And looking into the company that made Power World, they are Japanese, and the CEO once worked with Nintendo. Ho oh, ho, this gotta be personal with this little happy motherfucker. I mean, Power World clearly plagiarized. I don't get why people are already so defensive of this game and chalking it up to criticism as jealous Pokemon fans, when the developer has a history of blatant plagiarization. The evidence of the plagiarism is this guy putting a wolf model and another wolf model saying they stole assets, which then he came out and admitted he was just making stuff up, you know, because he's a jealous Pokemon fan. I am doing this because I think it's disgusting how much Power World glorifies animal abuse. Pokemon are captured from their habitat in a small little ball and forced to beat the shit out of each other. Do you even play the game you're defending? Pokemon fans are just mad that their game is looked at as a joke while Power World is having a little bit of an Elden Ring viral moment. I mean, it's not our fault that Pokemon games feel like a secondary product rather than the main show when it comes to the franchise. In the heat of Power World's virality, Nintendo published this clip of Scarlet and Violet, which is mostly a loading screen. <laughs> what the 